So if you're watching this video, it's either because you think you've got head lice or you know you've got head lice and you want to know how to treat it or what to do next if the treatment you're using is not working. For those who do not know much about head lice, these are tiny parasites, about one to three millimeters in length. They have hook-like claws in each of their six legs, which help them to stick to your hair shaft without falling. And they crawl up and down your hair, causing your scalp to be very itchy. They can be very difficult to spot with the naked eye and they lay eggs known as nits, which are usually brown or white in color and can be mistaken for dandruff. But you can identify them if you go to the chemist and buy a special detection comb with a fine tooth to go through your hair very slowly. You would usually have about 10 to 30 head lice, but in severe cases, you can get hundreds. Head lice usually have a lifespan of about 30 days. And during this period, the female can lay anything from 30 to 100 eggs. You cannot catch head lice from pets such as cats or dogs and can only be transmitted from humans to humans by direct contact usually in school-aged children by sharing items such as combs, brushes, towels, which can contain the lice or the eggs. So symptoms to expect will be itching, which is similar to scabies, as they can be worse at night, and the scratching of your scalp can lead to sores and infection. How do you get rid of head lice? There are three main methods of treatment. You have physical insecticides, chemical insecticides, or natural methods such as wet combing. So what physical insecticides do is that they coat the surface of the lice to stop them from moving. And the two main physical insecticides are dimeticone and pemetrin. Dimeticone is the first line treatment for head lice. Dimeticone contains 4% gel, lotion or spray, and you can buy this over the counter as hedrin lotion. Dimeticone can be used in children aged six months and over. You simply apply the lotion to dry hair and scalp, leave for eight hours or overnight, and repeat again after seven days, then wash the hair with shampoo. Make sure you rinse thoroughly and dry. Now, it is important to repeat the treatment after seven days as you want to kill any lice that hatches from the egg. And the advantage of using the metacone over other treatments is that it does not have any smell or odor and does not contain chemicals like organophosphates. The main disadvantage of the metacone is that it causes your hair to feel dry and brittle because it creates a physical coating that blocks moisture from penetrating the scalp. This can also be an advantage as it means that if your hair is wet due to rain or swimming, the dimeticone is still doing its job, which makes them effective. So if you want the first line or best treatment for head lice with no toxic chemicals and safe for children, then Hedrin or dimeticone 4% lotion is the drug of choice. Now you've got Permetrin 1% for head lice. Now you know Permetrin is traditionally used for the treatment of scabies, and the 5% cream version is the first line treatment for scabies. But it is the 1% lotion that is used for head lice and works to suffocate the lice by coating the surface and can be used in children aged six months and over. Just make sure that you have shampooed your hair, rinse off the shampoo, keep dry and apply the permetrin. Leave for 12 hours and if easier, just leave overnight to kill the live lice. But bear in mind that you are not killing the eggs which can hatch after treatment. So you'd want to repeat the treatment seven to 10 days afterwards in order to kill the lice that hatch after the eggs. Now lice have developed resistance to permetrin, so it is not a popular treatment as it might not work for you. And even the metacone, which is the first line treatment for head lice, is also developing resistance. Thankfully, there are other options such as wet combing. Now side effects of permetrin is that it can cause scalp irritation and itchiness. So we've looked at the physical insecticides, which is dimeticone and permetrin. For chemical insecticides, you have malathion. Now malathion is a lotion that's approved for head lice in children aged six and over. The malathion is applied to dry scalp, leave overnight, and wash off with shampoo after 12 hours. And you can repeat the treatment again seven days later. Malathion is very potent, unlike the metacone and permetrin that just kill the lice. Malathion can kill both lice and eggs, but it might not penetrate the egg completely, so it is advised to still apply the treatment after seven days. Now, malathion is an organophosphate, which means that it's a toxic compound that can cause symptoms such as seizures, headaches, excess salivation, muscle weakness, and other symptoms if used in high concentration, so you have to specifically follow the directions for head lice and not use on a daily basis. Malathion also has a high alcohol content, so do not go near a combustible material or flame as you might catch fire easily. It is highly flammable and these are the reasons why it is not used in children under the age of six. 
Another treatment for head lice is ivermectin. Ivermectin can be used as a lotion or tablet and it is very toxic to lice. As a lotion, ivermectin 0.5% can be used in children aged 6 months and over. It kills the lice and not the eggs, but it tends to prevent new lice that have hashed after treatment from surviving. You only need to apply once to dry hair, without the needs to repeat treatment a week later or comb needs out of the hair. As a tablet, ivermectin is not licensed to treat head lice, but it can be prescribed by a dermatologist as a single dose or two doses seven days apart. It is usually used when other treatments have not worked, but children have to weigh at least 15 kilos or 33 pounds before they can use ivermectin tablet. There are other treatments for head lice such as benzoyl alcohol lotion, spinosad, and there was a shampoo commonly used in America called Lindane shampoo. It was only intended for use if other treatments which were much safer were not effective. It is advised to apply this shampoo just once and wash off after four minutes as it can be toxic to the brain, especially if used repeatedly or for prolonged periods as seizures and even death have been reported. Therefore, Liden shampoo is no longer recommended for the treatment of head lice and it has been discontinued as from February 2023. Now, whatever treatments that you choose to apply, whether it's malathion or dimeticone or permetrin, you want to comb the hair at least once a day using the lice comb for the next two weeks to get rid of the lice. Now, if you don't want to apply any insecticides or chemicals, especially to your child's scalp, and you want to use more natural methods to get rid of the lice, then try wet combing. Wet combing can be considered as a first line treatment for head lice due to increased resistance of the insecticides usually used to treat head lice. You can buy a detection comb online from a supermarket or pharmacy, and a popular product is the Head Lice Bug Buster Kit, which you can buy from Amazon. So wash the hair with shampoo, apply lots of hair conditioner or olive oil to keep your hair lubricated. If you have short hair, comb for at least 10 minutes, and if you have curly or long hair, comb for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Make sure you comb the entire head and repeat the process every three to four days over a two to three week period at day one, five, nine, 13 and check again on day 17 and if no lice then you can stop treatment or continue if more lice are seen. Now there are other alternative treatments such as natural plant oils which have been commercialized for head lice treatment and these products are made by different companies and have different degrees of effectiveness and there's no data on toxicity. So they are difficult to recommend but you have tea tree oil, eucalyptus oil, lavender oil and aniseed oil and they contain plant extracts that are toxic to lice but some studies have shown that tea tree oil can cause abnormal breast tissue growth especially in boys going through puberty but the evidence currently is not strong so first line treatment for head lice is dimeticone and first line treatment for natural methods and no risk of side effects or resistance is wet combing now i hope you've enjoyed this video on head lice please feel free to like share and subscribe